my story begins with my mother who became ill with colon cancer. In doing our genealogy, she had noticed that there was a whole side of my family on her father's side that had been annihilated through some type of illness. Her, her aunt has colon cancer, her brother had colon cancer, and then she had colon cancer. Her father passed away of cancer, um, bladder cancer, esophageal cancer um, as well going back farther into the family tree, they had all died within their, you know, 40 to 50 years of age. So she decided to research, and she researched a lot more, and she came across a doctor by the name of Dr. Lynch, who had identified um, a, a gene that did not work when it came to cancer fighting ability. And she she decided that she was going to get tested for this. She came up positive for having Lynch syndrome. My doctor um, at that point asked me a lot of questions. For example, is there any history when it comes to cancer? And that's when I had finally disclosed to him that my family has Lynch syndrome. And he immediately went to his desk and did a Google search. And he started reading about what Lynch syndrome was and he was, he was floored. Um, and he said, wow, this changes everything, doesn't it? And he immediately, he stopped absolutely everything that he was doing. I know that he had patients backed up in the waiting room, but he took his time and he read over it. And he said, wow, why didn't you tell me this to begin with? And for me, I had told my OBGYN in the past that my mother had Lynch syndrome, um, and he did not recommend that I get tested. as. On the opposite side, my primary care physician definitely immediately wanted me to be tested for Lynch syndrome. And so it, it's difficult to make certain that they're all coordinated and on the same page at the same time. It's my understanding that first I had to consult with a genetic counselor before they went ahead with the testing. And I went in for my preliminary appointment, he discussed with me all of the ins and outs of what this could be, what that means in the future. Um, he definitely expressed the pros and the cons to being tested because when you become positive, once you know, that means you have to do something about it and your life has to change. Um, I got a call from my genetic counselor and he asked me if I wanted to come in to discuss results or if I would rather have them over the phone, and for me it was you know, quick like a band-aid, just let me know what's going on. And I was positive for Lynch syndrome. And at that moment, my whole life changed because I, I knew I had to do something about it at that point. I could not ignore it anymore. I, I immediately um, was counseled by my OBGYN and told that I need to have a full hysterectomy, a radical hysterectomy which to me was devastating because I'm 37 years old. I'm a, I'm a single mom. Um, I, I don't have a partner. So all, all of these variables that went into having Lynch syndrome all hit me at once. I have three children. The questions that were posed then are, do they have it? Um, what do we have to do at that point? Because having Lynch syndrome means that my children have a 50% chance of inheriting that gene from me. And that number does not dilute. More information that I received from the genetic counselor um, went over a lot of the statistics. And with every statistic that I was given, I became more and more scared because it, it, it made things real. Um, this was no longer some abstract idea. This was not a possibility. This was a probability. It's not a matter of if I get cancer. It's a matter of when I get cancer and how early can we detect it. What the doctors have not done a very good job at is explaining exactly what happens to the female body after a hysterectomy like that, um, hormone replacement therapies that are available. Um, and I noticed that my OBGYN specifically was extraordinarily insensitive, was just kind of wanting to, you know, 
brush it under the rug and that's something that's a really big deal for women especially because it puts your body into menopause e immediately um, it ages you your hair falls out you don't sleep you get insomnia none of that was explained to me that would have been nice to know not because I wouldn't have had the surgery I would have had the surgery but because I would have known what to troubleshoot I had absolutely no idea what was going to happen um, people ask, are you well? How are you doing? I'm good. But then I often have to say in, in my head for now, because people don't understand that this is something that will, it's, it will keep coming back. It will be an issue every year. So it's not really something that you get better from. So I think that was the most difficult part of explaining to people what Lynch syndrome was and is.